Hi all and welcome back to yet another new video. In today's video I would like to be showing you guys how to go ahead and back up your Sysnand or even your Emunand on your Nintendo Switch running CFW so just in case uh, you're worried that something you might install might break your console this is always the best way to go because then you can always restore your NAND and it's, uh, it's a lot better than uh, having a brick console and it'll just get you out of a lot of trouble so what we're going to do is we're going to first load into our uh, bootloader so I'm using the Hecate uh, I recommend that you use this one too uh, just look on the web how to do it I may make a video on showing you how to install the Hecate bootloader shortly um, but for now just see if I have it or check Google if I don't have one yet And um, but I'll show you how to use it anyway so we're going to first go up into tools and then we're going to go into backup EMMC so you click that one there and then the first thing you want to do is you want to back up the EMMC and that's boot 0 and boot 1 so you click that one there like so and this will take a few seconds it should be done very quickly um, so once it's done you can go close uh, as you can see it's done and done so we're going to go back now and then you want to back up your EMMC raw GPP so click this one here now this one will take actually a fair bit of time so I'm just going to put you guys on a quick time lapse while it uh, does that but uh, I suggest you go and get yourself a coffee or something or go do something for about maybe 10-15 minutes because that's how long it will usually take to do this so um, I'll leave you guys to it and um, I'll be back shortly okay so as you can see now that's complete and uh, if you go ahead and put the SD card into your PC now, you'll see that the uh, backup is there. Um, I will show you without going into there because I am um, going to go and put the P into the PC later. I'm not really recording on the PC right now, so I'll just show you if we launch into the firmware. And um, I'll show you how we can go into the folder through the file browser and you'll be able to see that the uh, backup files are there. It will just be like a backup folder on the root of your USB anyway, so if you take yours out now, you'll be able to see, um, sorry, on the root of your SD card, if you take yours out now, you'll be able to see on your computer. But um, anyways, with that being said, let's go down to the uh, album, and then if you go into something like Goldleaf, you'll be able to view the contents of your SD card. So this is the root of your SD, and as you can see, I've got the backup folder here, which was just created then. So that's pretty much it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, please make sure to ask any questions down in the comments below if you have any, otherwise please make sure to rate and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video, peace.